What's up guys, today we're gonna to make some progress on the Lowrider ST. We're gonna start off here in the garage with a sketch that I like to do before every project that I work on. Now obviously I'm gonna be sketching out the paint job that I plan to do and how I go about the process of sketching out a design for this bike. And then we're gonna to go to the shop and tear down the entire bike and get it ready for paint. So, let's go. So what I do is I typically will take a picture of the bike and then I'll put it in my iPad and then with one of the drawing apps I will pretty much just outline the entire bike. I'll then put it in Photoshop as you guys can see, make a print. We have a ready template and I can print out as many as I want in order to come up with the idea. So typically what we do here is start with a pencil, eraser. Having like this outline the whole side of the bike, I can kind of start to generate some kind of flow with the graphic. So now that I have kind of like a basic outline, if you will, something just a rough sketch, I'll come back with a heavier weight lead and then kind of give it a, a quick outline that way I can see it better. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink things out right now with the Micron, then I'll erase all the pencil marks and start coloring this bad boy in. So now that I got kind of an outline of this bike done, uh, I wanna start coloring it in. And I know for a fact that I want to have a peach color. So over the years, I've leaned way too much into the grays, which is kind of like my favorite color. I've always liked peach a lot. I just never could find a way to pull it together. And uh, I did a helmet recently that you guys saw in this uh, YouTube video that I think gave me some understanding to the color and how I can bring it together with other colors that I think will look good in an actual paint job. The other thing is, I just painted this bike for Tommy of Cowboy Harley Davidson and I am in love with this brown. And I think I wanna implement it with this paint job. Using uh, brown, black, peach, gold leaf, and then bringing some cooler colors in like a purple and maybe a baby blue or something like that. Can't do all that in a sketch, but I can get a color balance and that's what I'm gonna show you guys real quick is the balance of all the colors that I'm gonna do. So let me, let me get to coloring real quick and then see what you think. Let me give you guys a little bit of a peek inside like how many markers I've acquired over the years. Eh, almost a thousand dollars worth of markers in this drawer. Prisma color markers are very expensive, but they are kind of top of the line. I don't know if what I use them for is the best practice, but it helps me get an idea. It helps me save a lot of time whenever I'm in the paint shop. Uh, I'm not spending as much time trying to figure out colors there. I can figure out the basis of it here and then make the work process there much quicker. Now, since there's certain parts of this bike that's gonna be black, I'll usually take the black marker and go ahead and color those in too to give me a better representation of how it's gonna balance out with the rest of the colors on the bike. The main tubes on the forks are black. I do hope to put some gold inner fork tubes. The windshield is black. Now this color in real life is very, very metallic-y. I don't really want this to have like a huge flaked out look. I want it to have a, a racy kind of pearlescent vibe to it. In the black here on the paint job, I plan on doing some gold pearl fades. You guys might not see it. I think that's what kind of separates some of us painters from each other is the ability to really visualize what you're doing and where it's gonna go. Sometimes I have a hard time once I've done a sketch and I'm very stoked about trying to convince a customer who may or may not have the vision that I have, trying to get them to see it. That's, that's one of the hardest parts sometimes with custom paint. This is a sketch. This is what we decided to go with uh, using a root beer, a peach color, black, gold leaf. Uh, obviously, we're going to have a stainless exhaust, gold Lindahl wheels, uh, amongst some other things. So, I wanted to try to 
encapsulate it as much as we could. I got a little perspective drawing here to give myself an idea of how it's going to kind of flow and wrap around the part. So um, I sketch just about every paint job I've ever done. Maybe for context, I'll show you real quick. Every Simpson helmet I've painted in the last uh, seven years. Pretty much every sketch I keep. A lot of the bikes that I paint, I keep those sketches as well. Here's the original sketches for the FL logo that we've been using on our YouTube. I feel like everything starts with a pencil and paper and right here at this desk, usually with some music playing and some, uh, some mood lighting, if you will. And it kind of puts me in a groove and I go to town after that, so. Well, now that you've seen the sketch, I think it's time we get to the shop and start getting this lower rider taken apart and get ready to do some paint work on it. in the shop and we're getting ready to start tearing down the uh, lowrider ST to get ready for our transformation makeover whatever you want to call it I've been riding the bike for a little bit I got about 2,000 miles on it it's the perfect time to take it apart do the first service and get the paint job rolling on this I got my colors selected the sketch is done let's get this thing started let's get it apart now as you can see I have put some of the parts that uh, I've gotten for the bike on it already I'm a little impatient so Got these awesome side covers and dash from Italian Performance Park. Looking forward to painting these things and putting a little bit of my own twist to the carbon fiber. Good thing uh, Matt showed up to help, so we're gonna be able to get this thing done a lot quicker. And I'm glad you showed up because there's parts of what he's gonna be helping me out with that I think is important for you guys to know about the paint process as well as Matt's gonna be doing all the powder coating and stuff on this bike as well, so kill two birds with one stone. As you saw, the bike comes apart pretty easily. Very few bolts to get the whole inner and outer fairing off. Uh, a lot of clips, you know, you can see this whole thing is just clipped in here. Um, yeah, it's really not, it's not that complicated. You can almost take this bike apart with an Ikea tool set. We're gonna finish taking off these uh, pieces from the inner fairing and then get it ready to go to mats and Matt can start getting it smoothed out, getting it primered and then getting it final sanded and ready for actual paint, which will, you know, hopefully be able to knock out here pretty quick. Not to add any pressure. <laughs> All right, guys, Matt and I got the entire bike paint job taken apart. Everything's on the floor, ready to get sanded. Inner fairing, front fender, <laughs> outer fairing, gas tank. We got the carbon fiber parts from Italian Performance right here. They'll be getting painted as well. These are some of the mud guards and uh, chain guards. A little fascia, I guess, for the uh, radiator or the, uh, cooler. the cooler, the oil cooler in the front. Inner bags, outer bags. Uh, that's pretty much the entire Lowrider ST. So I am gonna be running a tour pack on this bike. It's gonna be the first time I've ever painted a tour pack to actually go with the paint job on the bike. There's not a lot of bag space on these. I'm gonna have to run a tour pack, so might as well make it look good. I hated running a tour pack on the baggers. I just felt like it took the whole sportiness away from it, but kind of dig the way it looks on these Lowriders. So I'm gonna lean into that a little bit more on this one. So basically what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna start sanding the parts. Matt's gonna take the textured parts home with him and get those things all smoothed out, primered, and ready for some paint. And uh, hopefully by tomorrow night, this thing will be ready for some base coat uh, in a perfect world. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace.